partial seizures are seizures that start in one part of the brain, in one area, and then spread. They can start in, the, in half the brain, they can start just in one lobe of the brain, or they can start in one discrete area. It's important to, to decide whether these are really generalized seizures or whether they're partial seizures because it helps with our management with medication. Partial seizures can either have impairment of consciousness associated with them or the person can be totally alert and talking during the whole seizure. So that can be something that's a very simple sort of jerking. And I think what's interesting is depending on where the seizure starts is what symptom the patient might have. So we've talked about deja vus, patient having repeated deja vu feelings or a funny smell would give you a sense of where the seizure is starting or weird memories or confusion or mumbling can give you a clue of where the seizure is starting in the brain and then what the next symptom is give them an idea of where the seizure is spreading to. So you can tell a lot by listening to the patient's story and having them tell what they feel or what their family members see. So again, complex partial impairment of consciousness. Simple partial can be something as quick as just a little jerk or a funny feeling in the arm or the leg, but then the complex partial get more involved. They can have something called automatisms as well, and we can tell from the automatisms where they start from. A classic automatism is the picking at your clothing. So somebody can look confused, zoned out, sort of picking at the clothing, and this is an automatic behavior that happens, and yet the patient doesn't really even know it's happening. There's also um, complex partial seizures that are associated with the nose wipe. There um, are ones with deja vu, as Steve was saying. There are ones with a feeling of anxiety that may masquerade as a psychiatric issue. So there are lots of different types of partial seizures, and it's important to look at what they look like, what the patient feels, especially what the patient feels before it, which is called an aura, and what shows up on the EEG when the testing is done.